We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Hey everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up Z. Take a look at what's going on in the market. <clears throat> we are on the monthly time frame. We can see that market consolidated in this area here, straight down, all the way sideways. The market pushed up, came from an area, pushed up, pushed back down, headed towards back to the area of support. So before we get back to overall, let's head over to price action. Let's see what's going on. Price action, last candle in the market, <clears throat> is a bearish hammer. So we can see that that market is working its way down. Um, it could be running to an area of resistance. Price action body is below the previous body. Price action wick is not below the previous wick. So it could be a breaking. It could be some type of retest in that market or that market is having a hard time breaking that area of resistance to push down. Let's work our way backwards from price. We see price spiked this high. It came from this pattern here at this low. The pattern that was formed at the low. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest market pushed up. One retest market pushed up twice. So we have the market's on the second push. Higher highs. Lower lows. Midpoint in the middle. Mark is coming from at that high. Mark is coming from a. Let's take a look. Either a single top or a double top, and a retest. And two retests, the market dropped down. Let's head down. Let's head down the time frame to see what's going on in the market. Head down to the weekly time frame. Price action on the weekly time frame is a doji, so it's an indecisive candle. So we don't know if that market's going to shoot up and shoot down. We have to wait till the next candle form that's going to overlap that candle upside or overlap that to the downside to push that market down or up. <clears throat> but we do know that price is coming from a break and retest. So let's draw it out. First leg, second leg, third leg market could push up for that fourth. It's the this is the break and retest that it can do for that W and then push up higher. Now that mark is going to push down for that downtrend. It's coming for a retest as well. So it will be resistance. Market broke, came back to return. Look for the pattern, engulfing pattern, which is still a doji. Market pushed down and the market pushed up a little bit. We can see it could be retesting. So we don't know how far that market is going to come up to this area. Or is maybe that's it with the price action can do, and that market's going to shoot down. Okay, so then that means we'll be looking for a market to tag that first leg, second leg, third leg, and market push down for that fourth, and we'll see a break and retest at that area that low. If the market pushed down further, headed down to the daily time frame to see what's going on in the market. Price action can do bullish inverted hammer, so we can see that market is working its way up for that incline. We also have a pattern here, so market was in the consolidation. Before price action candle, market is consolidation sideways. We can see that structure forming for that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest. Market push up once. Market coming from a triple bottom or a double bottom in a retest. The market push. So price action is trying to close above this area here. We did get the break of that area. So we're going to identify what's going on in that area as we walk down further. Let's use some SR lines. So we're looking for price to break this area here as it already did. So we're going to see how far. Is going to go up. Price action wick has reached that next level up and it's touching. So we're going to see if that market's going to be respected for that W, work its way up, or a triple bottom and then work its way up, or market price is creating a structure of a first leg. So it would be, it's kind of going to be an overall. So first leg, second leg, market pushes up, come down. You want to add this area here.
think it would make sense to add this area here. So spike this up for the first because it reached the other side. Market dropped all the way back down, consolidated, and the market broke back up out of double bottom. And if it's not able to break, market's gonna push down. That's why you see the double top here. And then the market pushed down from that double top. So you don't know if the market's gonna just come down or it's gonna break and retest. But as far as we know right now, price is working its way up for that bullish, but we don't know how far it's going up. We're gonna see if the market's gonna close out near the SR line on the four hour time frame. Price action, okay, price action <clears throat> candle is a bullish inverted hammer. Second to last candle as well is a bullish inverted hammer. Um, the price action is a bullish inverted hammer, but also is a retest of the previous market. So what the market did was it broke, came back to retest. It could have spiked that area twice, maybe once, but we'll see it as we walk down the time frame. But we do know the market's having a hard time to break. It ran into an area of resistance. This is two pushes to the top, as we see on the four-hour time frame. Okay, market spiked up once, market spiked up twice, just sitting there. And if we connect the wicks on that way down and we connect the bodies on the way up, we see that market creating that wedge pattern because another candle could form here. It could be a doji, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It could be a bullish candle or a huge bearish candle is going to push that market down or up. Or you can receive a doji and you have to wait till the following candle come out to engulf that doji, which is an indecisive candle, to push that market up or down. So we don't know what's going to happen, but the pattern is going to identify itself in this area. Let's walk down the time frame and see what's going on. Headed down to a three hour time frame. So, market is at a retest. So, the market spiked up once, market spiked up twice with the third, the second, third and second last candle. Push back down at like a midpoint. So, think about it as highs, lows, right above midpoint, maybe some second level highs. Market's hanging around. So, you're going to see if market's going to respect that area to push up or push down or continue to consolidate sideways. Headed down to the two hour time frame. Price action candles are doji. Indecisive market. You don't take a trade. You don't do anything. You wait for the next the candle to form. That's going to engulf this to the upside or downside to close that market up for the push up, push down. But looking at the structure here, market spiked up once, market spiked up twice. Came back down to a retest and it's pushed sideways. So market's coming from a double top. Could be a double top and a retest. But we'll identify as we walk down further. So we see this market spiked up, came back down. So that's the break and retest of that. Um, one hour time frame. So, you're going to see if we can get, receive an engulfing pattern to this upside. See if the market's going to spike back up. So, it'll be a break retest and market goes up. If it doesn't go up, we'll see, we'll be seeing that market push down for that first leg. Could be a full drop down for a second final retest later on. The market comes down, headed down to the 45. Doji, so for one hour, 45 is reading the same thing. 30 minutes is a doji as well. A little bit of incline, so market's pushing up a little bit. Um, still indecisive candles side by side. 15 minute time frame. So we can see that incline in the market, but still dojis. Um, market's working as well for the incline, but the thing is about this area is market's at that resistance and it spiked up one, spiked up twice, spiked up three times, spiked up four. And if you add this time, that's five pushes to the top. So we're going to see if we're going to really get that breaking retest of that SR line that we created on an earlier time frame. Headed down to the five minute. <clears throat> now we start seeing the structure. So first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, market pushed up. So that's already a triple bottom at this area. Retest, first, first, second, third, fourth, retest, one, retest, two, retest, three. So market's... Is at three pushes, so we can identify one more push in that market. And if the market keeps pushing it, additional after that, so market's reading from this double bottom that's in this area. And it down to the three minute side by side candles with price and headed down to the one minute. Market's kind of retesting the SR line, so market's in that consolidation on the five, three, and one minute. Okay, guys, very important information. Please study and review. Forex pattern cheat sheet. Also, breakout and retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. Z Star.